Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is surgery day. 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. right now. Um, we have to be there at 6 a.m. It's less than an hour away, but we're just gonna be it's careful. It's a little over 30 minutes, but we just wanna be yeah. safe. Oh, it's super dark. Um, surgery is at eight, and it shouldn't, I, we don't really know how long we're going to be there, obviously, because of, you know, after surgery, everything has to look good and all of that good stuff. But we're hopping in the car, 5 a.m. attached to the building. Ready? I sure am. It's like, I don't really know what we're gonna do from six to eight. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> all right, say bye, Sarah. Say bye. I'll we'll see you after. We all love you. You're gonna do great. Good. Yeah. All right, 8.15, I got breakfast and a coffee. Um, about an hour until Sarah comes out. So she was feeling good, I was feeling hungry. So I'm grabbing this and I'm gonna go upstairs in the waiting room. They're gonna give me a call with uh, any updates, but it should be about an hour, so. She's a rock star, I'm super proud of her. She's like the strongest, best person I've ever met, so. She was doing really good and it's her first like real surgery to go under and everything, so she was a little nervous about it, but they did great. The staff here is awesome at Florida Hospital, so thank you so much. All right, sorry for the big jump in time, but I didn't, it wasn't cool to be vlogging in the waiting room with all the other families waiting for their families. But Sarah's out, she did great. We'll give you more details later. Uh, I'm getting the car, she's over by the, the door with a, a worker in the wheelchair, so I'm gonna pull the car around. So she just needs to do more walking and then we're gonna grab, um, she's gonna give a special lunch treat on the way home. And then we're gonna rest. So let's do this. All right, first pit stop taken care of. We got two holiday turkey sandwiches. And now I'm going over to the gelato store to get a cannoli shake. And it is just gorgeous out. I gotta, maybe once Sarah gets some rest, we can get on the porch and just kind of sit out on our balcony. But it is gorgeous out today. Look at this. Come on. Wow, wow, wow. So we were just at Il Gelato. And uh, this is a cannoli gelato shake with cannoli chunks on top inside of a waffle cone of chocolate. I think this will make anybody feel good after uh, a surgery. So I gotta get back to Sarah who's in the parking garage and then we go home. Look who it is. Here I am. She's back, we're back home. I just pointed out I don't think I've ever eaten a sandwich at home before. She's got a sore throat from the, the, the breathing machine. The, the tube that they had her in, had in her. Besides that, and some like cramps in my stomach. Good, you look like you need a nap though. Yeah. But she is gonna eat and make sure that that doesn't affect her belly too much and she's just gonna rest. We're actually gonna, we actually got a DVD of the procedure. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna actually watch that. Uh, we will not be putting it in the vlog, but we'll go into detail before the end of this vlog about how it went and why it did what it did. Um, it took a little longer. But we gotta rest, and we gotta watch some Boy Meets World, and I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit the vlog for the next couple of days, I think, so this chicken can rest. I went on a walk to get the mail since Sarah was resting, and uh, I think this dog's gonna be really freaked out by the fact that I'm gonna be around a lot for the next, geez, four more days: Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, four more days. But I've been around mostly of today because we got home at like two. Guess what I'm actually doing? That's right, I'm actually editing. Everyone needs to give Sarah props because she deals with this every day, but as I'm doing this, this little princess needs some attention. She just keeps barking and wanting to play and I just can't do both, I'm sorry. I'll take a break and play. We got season one, Boy Meets World. We've got a little babushka lady over here resting. She's got a headache. That's my stomach. All right guys, so if you don't 
want to hear more details about Sarah's procedure today, uh, go to this time right here. I don't know how much more of the vlog will be after this, but go to the go to that time because I'm gonna I'm gonna give some details about what happened today, why it happened, and what we're doing going forward. Um, kind of going more in detail, which is why I give that this little advisor because it's not gonna be Disney talk, it's not gonna be theme park talk, it's not gonna be work talk. It's gonna be um, about a medical condition, medical condition that Sarah has. Um, and we've got young audiences. We've got audiences that only care about theme parks. So we've got audiences that care about Sarah and I as people. So, um, and most importantly, we've got people who know somebody who could be going through something similar or they themselves could be going through it or maybe they don't know it yet but they might go through something like this later on in life. And uh, so I just want to touch base really quick on it. And it's that for any new viewers, is Sarah had a was diagnosed with endometriosis um, a couple weeks back. Sarah and I are trying to start our family. We have been for a few years, so we knew something was up because of our age and our relative health and how long we were trying to start our family. We knew something was up. So after we first got settled down here in Florida, we were referred to a wonderful doctor. I'm actually going to put his link down below or over here because he actually has a YouTube channel with a wealth of knowledge when it comes from anything from starting a family to just being healthier, um, which is working out with us and our eating diets and then my running as well. But I digress. So Sarah was diagnosed with endometriosis, which is what we believe. We don't know with 100% certainty that that's the only cause of us not being successful in starting our family, but he is very confident that it is what it is. And what happened today is we went in for a, what's called a laparoscopy procedure. She's got two small incisions with a camera and a laser, and they go in there, and he was to check a whole wide range of organs to make sure there wasn't this tissue growth that wasn't supposed to be there. And I'm going very high level, so I'm not getting too technical. I'm not too technical in this field, but what happened was uh, we went in this morning. It was a, supposed to be a quick and easy 30-minute procedure. He goes in, checks out how everything looks, finds the tissue that's not supposed to be there, gives a little zap of a laser, and it goes away. He leaves, kind of stitches up those two little cuts, and after a little recovery period, um, there's the, the much greater chance of becoming pregnant and starting a family. I ended up sitting in the waiting room for about an hour, a little over an hour and a half after I left Sarah, and the doctor came out with two student doctors because we went to Florida Hospital just down the street. An awesome facility and awesome staff. Cannot say enough about them and our doctor, Dr. Loy. Um, but he sat me down with photos and video and explained what he encountered. And what, 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 what we did encounter is, and this is why I gave a warning, is because I'm about to throw some technical um, terms that have to do with the reproductive system. So for any families out there that don't want your children listening to this, I'll give you a second. Um, what he did show me is that when he got in there, he, he thought he'd find a small amount of endometriosis. But what happened is it was pretty severe. And so what happened is uh, both of Sarah's ovaries were attached together and also to her uterus. So much more severe case of endometriosis, but optimistically speaking, it's the same treatment. He got in there with the laser, got rid of the tissue that he was supposed to, um, everything kind of for the most part, moved into the place it should be and looked like it would heal and recover normally. So a little bit of a, a little bit of an unexpected fact there, but I like I told, uh, you know, Sarah's mom and our family, like, regardless of how severe her endometriosis was until this morning, that was all before. Nothing that goes forward for us. Um, I just realized I may be doing the wrong directions, but anything going forward from from today is fine. The doctor took care of all the, it wouldn't have mattered if it would have been a minor case or a severe case. As of 2 p.m. this afternoon, it's the exact same. So pre this morning, pre 8 a.m., it was there's a difference in Sarah between being minor or severe and how that affected us. No matter what that was, and ended up being severe, which is what we did not expect, it's all good now. So she's gonna recover. She was a huge, she was a trooper. She did amazing. The doctor even, he gave us a video with his uh, commentary while he's doing it, which was cool to see, because then we got to actually see the procedure being done inside Sarah that we have forever. We will not be putting that online. Um, 
but he had commentaries that he recorded into it, which was very interesting and eye-opening and made us understand what um, what Endometrius is and what it does and how it grows and affects and everything. So um, we just want, we're always transparent, especially about something like this, um, because we have found out in our two and a half years of trying to start a family that it's not as uncommon as almost anybody that I've talked to thought. It's very taboo to talk about these things, and it shouldn't be because nothing should be that taboo so that you, someone doesn't feel uncomfortable about something that they can't control or a struggle they're going through because if someone wants to start a family, that's a big, big deal. And for that to be something that you might think you can't share or get comfort from friends or loved ones is, is a difficult thing. So that's why if you've ever wondered in the few mentions we've talked about in us going forward with our next couple of steps, um, that's why we are open about it because we've realized that when we started opening up to friends and family, there were people who have known for years or our whole life that popped up and said, I had that, or my aunt had that, or my cousin, or my best friend. And I had no idea anybody had suffered anything like this until we did. And so I want you who's watching, if you are experiencing this, or you know somebody who is or was, um, and you have any questions, or you just want to talk about it, leave a comment down below if it's public, or shoot us an email. Um, it's tbp32830 at gmail, or Park Hopper Podcast, or find us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Like, if you have questions or you want to just talk, because that's been my biggest thing is the relationships we've built on this this medium as YouTube. If I can use it for any good whatsoever besides just preserving memories, it's to let anybody else know that if we can be a resource or a comforting shoulder per se to anybody, that's what we're gonna be there for. And that's why we're sharing our our endeavors of what we're going through, the good and bad. Cause you see us, you saw us on yesterday's vlog running down Main Street having a great time. And today you saw Sarah getting a procedure done that we knew was gonna happen. Didn't know it was gonna be as severe as it was, but still came out good, thankfully. So, that's my soapbox what's going to happen for us. We meet with our doctor in three weeks. Um, infertility is a complex machine of moving parts, so her endometriosis was the main thing that we were concerned with. There are other things like hormone imbalances and other things that could be on the table that we're going to discuss with our doctor in three weeks. Um, he's very good. He very wants to take a natural approach at things between now and exhausting A through Z before we get to something like IVF. And if you don't know those terms, that's okay. Um, so we're really happy. We're, she did a great job. She's doing well out there. I'm gonna take care of her the next couple of days. Well, forever, but a little extra pampering the next couple of days and we'll just go from there. I can't wait till the day comes that we get to post a video that will be one day linked to this video with us telling all of you that we are starting our family. So that's what's the that's what the end goal is, and that's what we're most excited for, and that's what we work towards every single day, is making sure that financially, mentally, physically, emotionally, we are ready for that family. And so today was a huge step, and we want to thank you. I never thought, just under seven months ago when we started doing daily, that we would get the messages and support and love that we did through emails, messages, direct messages, comments, um, tweets, all of that so thank you thank you thank you sarah appreciates it i appreciate it our family appreciates it i heard from so many family members that i called to give updates that when she got out said she's good she's woken up from the anesthesia i saw these comments or i saw these people saying these things and it helped us and it helped our family and i think for a few of you guys seeing each other's comments helped in some cases each other as well um so thank you all for that little support and I'm gonna go back to the vlog, but I don't know. It's getting late and we got up early and got enough sleep last night, so I don't know how much else there is to the vlog, but welcome back at this time if you didn't listen to the previous section. All right, I also, before I go back out there and see if she's asleep, wanted to show you, I don't know if I have or not before, so here's our Adobe program. Sarah uses Photoshop, mostly Illustrator and InDesign for her work. 
um, but I've started using Adobe Audition for the podcast that Dom and I do, Park Hopper Podcast. Um, but if I do this Creative Cloud, which is what we paid to use through Adobe, I can download, I believe, Premiere. And there's a good chance that if you're watching this vlog right now, I will put like a thumbs up or a thumbs down or something that says that in the edit um, that says if I used Adobe Premiere because I, I think I want to start after watching um, a man by the name of after watching a lot of YouTube videos by a man named uh, of Peter McKinnon or the gentleman from Travel Fields and talking to some other YouTubers and social media people I think I'm going to give Adobe Premiere a try. Look who I found. Got her off the couch. <laughs> Actually, she was already off the I can't take credit. She was already off the couch yeah. getting ready for bed when I got out of the second bedroom. But Premiere is almost done. I started downloading quickly. Cool. So I'm going to try, try to edit that. I said earlier that I'll, I'll put like a thumbs up or thumbs down if this was edited in Premiere. Okay. Um, but I'm going to try to do this vlog in Premiere and then um, kind of give you like a, a summary of how it's working. Cool. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, and I'll show you how I did the intro. He did a good job at figuring it out on yesterday. I vlog. figured out the pause and the date and everything. I didn't. I thought I did the blur, but I don't think I like re-rendered the footage for the blur because the blur wasn't there in yesterday's vlog. Oh, yeah. Also in yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that the 26th was the last day to ride pirates. It's actually the day it's going down. So the 25th. So the 25th is the last Sunday. day of pirates. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get on it again. Um, Kind of but cool. I don't think so, but I'm happy that we went on it last night then, even more so. Yes, and I've already thanked everybody a million times for all the messages. Good. But. Oh, I don't know if oh, we'll keep this in or not. But um, we're happy. Like, the redhead scene, like, we understand why they're taking it out. If anyone has, like, asked us our opinion, um, we understand why they're taking it out. We're just nostalgic people, so we wanted to hear it um, one last time. More so the We Wants the Redhead because it is such, like, a heavily quoted thing. Um, but we are excited for the new scene. Um, we always like new stuff. And, and I'm always like to see, they're going to put little Easter eggs of what, like, probably one or two things from this scene in the new scene. Yeah, so they always have a way of referencing it, but like I Maybe like the ricochet, sure. like, so, like maybe the redhead will threaten somebody and shoot in a direction, and that'll be the ricochet of the gun. Yeah. Like something. in the current scene, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah. But thank we just you. want to address that because we've been asked. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and love. Thank it's been you. amazing. Try I know to get back to everyone. It's helped. Can. Yes, it's helped her a lot. It's helped me out a lot, and it's helped Eve out. But she's Eve's more exhausted, I think, than Sarah is, because yeah. we she has not slept at all since 2 p.m. today when we got home, and that's very absurd. Abnormal. Yeah, for her. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.